All the way from Homesland Institute at TAFE in Chadston, this is Hit TV. And if you've got a problem with dandruff or need silkier, shinier hair, you need Jack Cruz and Rose Herring. Uh, thanks for that, Josh. That was an interesting introduction. Welcome to Hit TV, our, our first episode for the 2008 season. How are you, Rose? I'm fantastic, Jack. And how are you? I'm good. Well, we have a great new season ahead of us and it is going to be full of fun. The people at Channel 1 might be... 31. Channel 31 might be completely mad, but yes, we are back for a fifth season, number five here. Yes, it's all very exciting. It's all happening here at Hit TV. We've got brand new segments, brand new cast and crew, and some brand new docos. It's all happening. Absolutely. But we're going to get straight into it with the extreme scene. If you are an extreme sport lover, you like your adrenaline pumping, 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 you're into your skydiving, snowboarding, skiing, then basically, you know, just throwing yourself off stuff, then this is the show for you. We have Claire Wooten, our resident sportist extremist. Uh, and is, uh, is that a word? It is now. And she's going to be showing, first up on Extreme Scene, some skydiving. Uh, Josh, you've been skydiving, haven't you? You know damn well that's a lie. Okay then. Extreme scene, you're on Hit TV. <laughs> Today on Extreme Scene, we're checking out skydiving with Jacob Fry. Jacob, you obviously love your skydiving. Yes, yeah, certainly do. And what are you training to do anything in skydiving? Do you aim to be a skydiving instructor one day? Uh, yeah, that's definitely on the cards. Um, at the moment, I'm on a uh, B license. Um, so I've done a training course to get that and yeah, keep on uh, jumping and training and hopefully you know, get a camera licence and become a skydive instructor one day. All up the flight and jump take just under 30 minutes with a 20 minute plane ride, 45 seconds of free fall and 3 to 5 minutes gliding under the chute. Now Jacob reckons that's a pretty sure way to cure your fear of heights. So I heard a little rumour that yesterday you went out in your birthday suit. Me and my mate Darcy, we uh, got new um, jumpsuits, so we thought why not celebrate and take them off. Yeah, what would someone usually wear if they're skydiving? Uh, you've got a jumpsuit, uh, which is just a full body suit, which helps you, um, you know, float more stable in uh, free fall. Well, I'm pretty psyched, so how about we go suit up? Why not? That was good. <laughs> it looked amazing. I almost got hit by a skydiver for myself. <laughs> that was uh, really scary. Wow, right, right. well, that was <laughs> good fun. Up there. <laughs> yeah, no, it was beautiful up there. It wasn't cold at all. What is it that keeps you coming back for more? Uh, what you just saw then, just the absolute amazing adrenaline rush. When you get to the ground, you're just like, wow, I'm alive. So yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's I'm amazing. Glad, I'm glad your shoot opened because there's no way I was going to catch you. Look, I'm just glad saying. it opened too, to be honest. <laughs> And you obviously got a great view from up there. Yeah, no, it's beautiful up there. You can see right over Melbourne, um, over to the Mowie Power Stations. Um, see over my hometown, Phillip Island. So, yeah, no, it's beautiful up there. Say hi to Mum. G'day, Mum. <laughs> if the reason you haven't been skydiving yet is because you're petrified your chute won't open, Rick Thompson's got some good news. This will fire at about 700 or 1,000 feet, um, which deploys the reserve parachute, which uh, saves me end of the day. So it's a... It's a good lifesaver to have in this sport. So Jacob, we've just left solid ground. I'm pretty excited. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty I hope, good. I want you to be confident, you know. I'm very <laughs> confident, very confident. It uh, should go pretty well. Now I imagine when you're falling at a speed of 200 kilometers an hour, it's going to be pretty noisy out there. But what is the atmosphere actually like? Ah, uh, yeah, it's uh, very windy. Um, you can't hear anything apart from wind. It's like sticking your head out of a car going 200 kilometers. Memorable, memorable jump even. Um, memorable <laughs> jump? Uh, probably when I had to pull my reserve. Um, that was pretty scary and uh, I reckon I'll have that feeling uh, for the rest of my life of what that feels like. So hopefully I don't have to do it again, but yeah, it was still a lot of fun. So what, what went wrong? Like you just packed it wrong? Or? Um, yeah, it was packed wrong. Um, I wasn't the one who packed it, so <laughs> it was alright. It wasn't my fault, but um, yeah, that's alright. I came out. Alright in the end, so. Someone had it in for you. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Now this is his 72nd jump today. Yes. Yep. And um, why did you actually go for a skydive in the first place? Um, I've always been interested in flying. Um, this is probably the closest you can get. So uh, we're in year 10 and me and six mates uh, decided to go for a jump and I've been hooked ever since. I love it. So it was your first love? Apart from mummy and daddy, uh, <laughs> skydiving was my first love. Oh, that's so cute. It's lovely. First love. <laughs> if you want to fall in love, come skydiving. Do it, do it. <laughs> That's all from the drop zone. Thanks for watching Extreme Scene. We'll see you in a fortnight on Hit TV. Oh my gosh, that was so extreme. I'm I'm feeling inspired, Jack. Mm. I want to jump something. Um, jump off something, maybe. That's what I said, Jack. You know damn well that's a lie. Uh, mm. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> um. You won't be catching me jumping out of any planes anytime soon, I'll tell you that much. <coughs> what, you're saying I'm a chicken? <laughs> well, if the shoe fits, Jack. <laughs> well, that's not very Aussie of you, uh, Rose. I think you, maybe you need some lessons on how to be an Aussie. <laughs> oh, yeah, and where am I going to get those, Jack? Well, my good mate Wing Yip, he was good enough to come down to the Hit TV studios and show us what being an Aussie is all about. And I'll tell you what, he's as blokey as they come. And that's coming up right now on Hit TV. And she said, Do you come from a land down under? A women go and men thunder. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? G'day mate, for all your bring out there, I'm gonna show how to cook a meat pie the Aussie way. First, take out the freezer, shove it in your microwave, and wait. While you're waiting, crack a beer. Genuine moderation, of course. When the pie's ready, slap on some dead horse and scoop it down. This is Wing Yip. Until next time, hooroo!